Welcome everyone back around the kitchen table. It's our second league game. <clears throat> and for this game I'm gonna play Krenko Mob Boss. And Davo, what are you gonna play? I'm playing Lathril Blade of the Elves. It's all about plus one plus one count. No, it's not about plus one plus one count, is it? It's all about tokens. Oh, I'm with Matt. Hello everyone, I am playing uh, one of my favourite decks tonight, which is Seizan. Um It's not Group Hub, but everybody gets to draw cards and um, lose some life, though. Yeah. Time. Good you. Correct. All right, I'll be playing Ball, Lord of Murder, and hopefully there'll be a lot of murder <laughs> in this game. Here is a quick look at the points following game one. Check out how we score in the video description. Cool. I'll draw for the turn. Uh, and then I'll play a Skemfar Elder Hall. Something like that, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enter the battlefield, tap, and uh, it taps for a green mana. And uh, for two, two black and a green, I can tap and sacrifice it. Up to one target creature you control gets minus two mana. You don't control, I apologize, gets minus two mana until the end of the turn, and I create two. One more L. Cool. Pat, go. Let's draw. I will play a Path of Ancestry and pass over to Matt. Okay, I will draw. So, pass turn. Alright, I will draw. And I will play a Rugged Highland. Come to play tap and gain one life. And pass the turn. Untap, draw. We'll play. Oh. Untap. Draw. I'll play a mountain. And. And think about first blood. <laughs> Wants that point. Yeah, do want that point, actually. So much so, I'm going to play my Wily Goblin. And I'm going to scry, because I use the path. And that can go to the bottom. And I'll pass over and go get my treasure. Hey, I will draw. And I will tap two for a waste knot. And pass ten. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Swamp as my land for turn. Tap those two for a Moss Diamond. And pass the turn. Untap, draw. Okay. Uh, play Forest. Tap three. Lease Alan a Scarblade. It's a 1 1 Elf Assassin, and I can tap it, discard an Elf card. Target creature gets minus one, X minus X until the end of the turn, where X is the number of Elves I control. Pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Oh, wow. I will then. I'll pay. I'll do that way. I'll pay two for a mine stone. And I will use the mine stone and the treasure to play a fire diamond. And I'm going to come at you for one total. Okay. First blood. First blood. And then pass over to you, my friend. Okay, but I will draw. Um, I will play a swamp. And then for one, two, three, I'm going to play Temple Bell. So it's tap, each player draws a card. And pass ten. All right. Untap. Keep draw. Hmm. 
Well, I'm going to play a mountain, and I will pay four mana and cast a Vengeful Ancestor. Uh, three, four flying. Whenever Vengeful Ancestor enters battlefield or attacks, goad target creature, and whenever a goaded creature attacks, it deals one damage to its controller. And I think I'll goad the Scarblade on ETB. And if that's alright, I'll pass the turn. I'll get a nice shiny little little token for that. Okay, so he's goaded. Untap. Oh. Okay. Your um, blade, a tap ability, is it for the discard? Just out of interest, therefore. Yes. Right, so you can stop it from attacking. True. But what if I don't want to discard an elf card? <laughs> just a, you just attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just attack. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, in fact, I shall um, keep that keep that mana on tap. I shall move to combat. Um, and I will. Because I'm goaded, I will attack Chris for one. Yeah, dude. Uh, when your goaded creature attacks, uh, then, uh, your creature will deal one damage to you, Dalfer. Yeah, that's cool. I'll take that. Back. Um, now I shall tap all four mana. I play this enchantment, Pride of the Perfect. Elves you can control get plus two, plus zero. I take it that gold comes off, does it? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Uh, untap. Draw. Ooh. That's interesting. Does that change what I want to do? Probably not. Okay, so tap three. I will play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Ooh. That will get a... a Law counter, and I'll create a two-two goblin shaman. That when it deals combat, when a, when this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Um, we still, you open there, Matt. Still, I'm open. You're I'm open. open. Oh, Dalfour's open. I have a three-four with flying. Oh yeah, I don't want to get involved with that. Uh, Dalfour, I'll get in at you for one. One? Yeah. Um, for one red, I'm going to light up the stage. Exhale the top two cards of my library. Uh, okay, uh, so the two cards are Goblin, War Chief, and Rummaging Goblin. So I can play them up to um, my next. Before we leave your main phase, just second main phase, just yeah. let me know, mate. Because have you missed the land drop there? Yes. Okay, so tap this, everyone draw a card, see if you can get a land. Oh, cheers, buddy. Oh, thanks, me. Cool. Play a <clears> mountain <throat> for turn. Uh, I'll use that mountain to play an impulsive pilferer. And pass over to Matt. Okay, on tap. Draw. Uh, I will tap. Everyone draw a card. Mm. Um, a little bit annoying. I 
think. worried about that crow that's creature because it just means I'm always going to be open and attacked which is a bit of a problem because I don't run many creatures <laughs> so I think I'll leave it at the moment I'm going to pay three for a Phyrexian Arena. And pass turn. Yeah. Well, you'll have plenty of card draw online, though. Yeah, I need card draw because I can't get any lands. I, I was probably a bit silly starting with a two land hand, but... Hmm. I thought with card draw I could pull myself back in. Help people out along the way. Like well, found a land for Chris. Yeah, that was much appreciated. Play a... I'm going to play a Castle Loxwain as my land for turn, which will come into play untapped because I control a swamp. And I don't think now is the time for that card. Hmm. I'm going to pay three mana. And I'll like to cast... Mahadi, Emporium Master. He's a 3-3 Legendary Cat Devil. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each creature that died this turn. Oh, nice. And then I like to go to combat, and I think I'll swing the... Uh, Woody, you don't have anything in the air, do you? Nothing in the air. I will swing the Vengeful Ancestor at you for three in the air. Okay. And then I would like to go to the Goblin Shaman uh, treasure token maker sure. guy. Nice. And then I will end my turn. Uh, nothing died this round, so no treasure tokens will be made. Yeah. And that'll, that's me done. I'll use that die as my goad counter. Untap. Roar. <clears throat> one, one black and four four eye blight colours. Um it's a three three elf whenever it dies, create three one one green elf warrior creature tokens. And then mill three cards. Nice. Uh, I will pass the turn. Cool. Untap. Draw for the turn. And then I'll put a law counter. Uh, discard up to two cards. Uh, I'm alright though, so I'm not going to discard. I'm not going to draw off that. Oh. Yeah, you so you don't want to feed waste not? No. Feed my waste not. Uh, well, are you going to be able to use the mana? Uh, I need. Uh, you should just got a creature, really. Um, well, I'm <laughs> to get me a blocker. I don't, I don't have any in hand, so. <laughs> you are, it's all right. You're out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll play Opal Palace. And for one red. And a second red. I will play the Goblin Warchief. Uh, that's going to be exiled at the end of turn. So for one and two red, I'm going to play Krenko. Tap Krenko before I go to Com, I think. And create one, two, three, four, five goblin tokens. I'm not going to use a spin down because it's going to save some time. <laughs> Which one of the creatures does it get the highest from? Uh, from the war chief. Chief, yeah. yeah. 
it's quite nice that it's quite nice uh, so we're going to move to combat uh, Matt you're the only one open and I don't really want this one to die because I want as many treasures as possible so I'm going to come at you with the 2-2 two -two, and Delphor I'm going to come at you with this one more I'll make a treasure. Two at me, is it, mate? Yeah. Yeah, two at you. When and when the uh, two two attacks, it'll deal one damage to you, Chris. Oh, okay. So I'll take a damage for that. So did you want the one one blocking or not? Did you need it to come through? Uh, if it dies, I get a treasure. So I don't mind if it dies. It's up to you. Because I've got I've got a five three. If you want it to die, it's up. It's up to you. It doesn't. I'm happy for it to die or get through for one damage. Okay, cool. I'll block it then. Cool. I'll have a second treasure. <coughs> I'll pull out my treasure. Oh, that means I've got more mana. Uh, I will pass the turn over to Matt. Okay. I trigger my Phyrexian Arena. A card, lose a life. A card for turn. Okay, play land. Hey, you got that land drop. I got it eventually. <laughs> I will for three play Liability. So whenever a card is put into a player's graveyard from play, that player loses one life. Ooh. Woody, my God. Now does... Now, cracking treasure tokens would do that, right? It would proc that. Uh, whenever a card because no. tokens still go to the graveyard. Yeah, but they just don't stay in the graveyard. Yeah, but it's not a card. It's the same wording as. Ah, yes, so yeah, yeah, card, yeah. yes. All right. Um, and that will be me, past turn. I think. Oh no, there's Pastern. a question. Corvax, I'm gonna have to Google that now. Chat well. I'm sorry, Matt. Did you pass the turn? Hey, sorry, buddy. Over to you, mate. Okay. Don't think I just want to make sure that you didn't have something else. Ah, mate, it's all right. I think because it says card, it does not. But, you yeah, know, I think so. everyone's looking for new ways to deal with treasures these days, so. Yeah. Well, I'm going to play a forest as my land for turn. And, and I'm going to tap up 3D mana. After I scatter all my cards. And play a commander sphere. And then I will pay four mana. And I will play a murderous red cap. And I will, when he comes into the battlefield, he'll deal damage equal to its power target creature or player. I'm going to do two damage to that uh, um, goblin war chief, please. What? You're gonna do what? I was busy googling. <laughs> You're gonna do. I'm. Um, you don't have an anthem, in fact, do you, for that? No. No. I, yeah, I like to deal two damage to the Goblin War Chief. Yeah. That's a good with the murderous red cap. cap. That dies, and then I lose a life, right? Yes. And then. To the graveyard, so. Yeah. Lose a life from my liability. Yeah. Then Dalfort, does do your uh, any of your elves have reach or flying? Nope. I like to swing the vengeful ancestor at you, Dalfort, for three in the air. <laughs> and when he attacks, I like to goad your uh, um, I your eye blight colors, please. Yeah. And then. Coming on there. I'll go to my in in I have four cards in hand. Okay, my cheese. I'd like to go to the end step. And since one creature has died this turn, he'll make one treasure token. I just need to find where I hid my treasure tokens. And that's me done for the turn. So, one tap. Roll. Yeah, 
a go to page for rules. <laughs> Pretty sure treasures don't count. Yeah, I, I don't think that they do either yeah. because it does say card. Yeah, but I was... And tokens are not cards. Yeah, but I was thinking that for creature tokens as well. Because yeah. it says card. Creature token, yeah. It's not token card. There is a, isn't there a rule that some things do reach graveyard first? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you do get sacrifice and die triggers uh, from tokens. Because this doesn't say they have to stay in the graveyard. It just means they, so they put they're put there. there. Is that a poison tip archer you just put up? Yeah, that's a poison tip archer that I put. All right. Yeah. You've been very quietly putting that there. Yeah, I was about to explain. You were talking. It's all it's all pleasant and polite. But yeah, tap four mana. Reach death touch. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Um, I have to move combat. Right, I have a 5-3 Elf Warrior. When it dies, it creates three Elf Tokens. Oh. Matt, is... you're on the highest life total, so I'm after throw it at you. Wait, yeah, how much? Uh, it's a 5-3, because I've got this enchantment now. Oh, down to 31. I just read that. It says tokens go to the graveyard as a regular creature and are removed as a state based effect when player gets priority again. They stay in the graveyard long enough to trigger abilities before they are removed. So, so I, I don't know. should That's trigger what I... on the creatures. Um, I will pass the turn. Yeah. Uh, untap. Draw. I'll play a mountain for turn. Uh, how many can I do this for? That would be really cool. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. So another law counter goes onto this, and it will flip. <coughs> two. The reflection of Kiki Jiki. Now I can't activate that straight away, which is unfortunate. Oh, it doesn't have haste, huh? It doesn't have haste. Oh. It was going to, but I got rid of your uh, war yeah. turn. Yeah, it was going to. It's not quite as good as Kiki Jiki. Though. No, no. Um, but I'm very tempted to do this. So I will tap. Krenko for his ability and create uh, one, two, three, eight more goblin tokens. Um, which I'm going to put on another. That's an actual D20. That's not another. Don't help me. Hey, D8. What's, what's Krenko's toughness? Uh, he's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Okay, I really want to cast this spell, so uh, we work out how to do that. So three, six, seven, eight. Okay, so uh, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of wanted to do it before combat. Okay, so I'm gonna cast indomitable creativity and x is going to be one two three four five six so i'm going to destroy x target artifacts and or creatures for each permanent destroyed this way its controller reveals cards from the top of the, his or her library until an artifact or creature card is revealed and exiles that card. Those players 
put those exiled cards into the battlefield and shuffle their library. So, uh, with X being, what did I say, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got to sacrifice six of my goblin tokens, I think. Well, you'll you'll destroy six of them, right? I'll just yeah, I'll destroy six. I'm going down to two. All right. But is this gonna? What are we gonna make the rule on liability then? Because if six of them die, um, I'm gonna take the damage. I think. Yeah. Are yeah. We saying that that's oh, what it is? We also have the and the two treasures. We also have the triggers from the poison tip archer. And the poison tip archer. So I'm gonna take twelve. <laughs> yeah. Crowback. Now Matt will take six. Yeah. But I. You take what? You, you and Crovax take six because it says each opponent loses one life. Yeah, off the poison tip archer. Oh dear, down to 25. Uh, now, if we're going with the tokens, if they trigger liability, then the uh, treasures yeah. would also I'll take, trigger liability. I'll take two for the treasures. Um... I hope this is right, but I'm not sure. No, that's fine. I'm happy for, for someone to comment on YouTube. Um, and let us know. Yeah, I would ask the judge group, but I can't because my phone is the camera. So otherwise, I'd have uh, asked the judge group. Uh, so but now you get cards. You get yeah. six card, reveals. Sure. So I get to reveal off the top of my library until I get six artifacts or creatures. So all right, let's spin it and win it. Mountain, mountain. Uh, empty the warrens. Oh, there we go. So, Beetleback Chief is the first one. Uh, a Goblin Banneret. Grow, 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 grow. How do you pronounce that? Size three. Uh, Goblin Creator Maker, so that's four. Soul Ring, that's five. My god, can you see how bad I shuffled this deck before we started playing? <laughs> uh, Legion War Boss would be six. So that's all of them. Alright. So then my library gets shuffled. <clears throat> And I make some more goblins. I imagine you have a couple of ETBs that you need to resolve. Uh, just just a few. So I've really wanted to play that card for ages. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sweet. Soul Ring. Uh, Legion War Boss. Create a maker. That one. That one. And. So it's the Beetleback Chief, which will give me another two goblins. So go back up to four here. Okay, now I don't want my stuff to die, because I am just dead. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, which means I'm going to have to take a big swing at a mat. <laughs> I'm afraid. Hi. I'm going to have to, mate, because otherwise I'm just dead to your triggers. Uh... So, beginning of combat, uh, the war boss will trigger, and I create a 1-1 one, one goblin that gains haste and must attack. Well, what toughness is the war boss? Uh, it's a 2-2. Two, two. The 2-2? Two, two. Yeah. Is that is that a danger, guys? Um, I'm more worried about the uh, Ryu one. Yeah, this will give everything he... haste. He can pay red to give every, his board haste. I don't think he has a red source available right now. Uh, next turn, it'll be but, more deadly. But uh, being able to give his board haste, to me, is a, uh, a bigger hey. issue. To kill the hasteness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, so is it worth hanging back and taking Krenko out, then, for next turn? No, because I can, re give him... yeah, but I can replay Krenko and then give it haste with this and still do it. Yeah, it's the hastiness oh, yeah. we can't so deal with. It's this that's the problem. 
Right, okay, so if I do that now, and then I can still do something on my turn as well. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap this and discard an elf card, which is the Mask of the Myras. Yep. Um, hey, you kiss me. Give me a 2 2. So oh. when it enters the battlefield, I can draw a card, but that's not important. It also says whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay green green. If you do, I can return this card to my hand. But that's just for later on because that does minus three, minus three to that card you got in your hand. Okay. So I will lose a point. Did that go to the graveyard? Um, so we'll do yeah. Um, oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter. It wasn't in play. It doesn't matter. I'll no, just get it. I just discarded it. Yeah, I just discarded it. Cool. So beginning of combat, I'll get my goblin that has to attack. Well, when the uh, one guy dies, we, uh, you, there is a liability trigger and a uh, poison tip archer. Oh, okay. yeah. I've taken the liability. So I'll, I'll lose one. Too. I'll lose an additional life, and so will, and so will Matt. Oh, and and uh, and so will Chris. Yeah. From the poison tip archer. Yeah. So I've already taken that. Okay. Um. Oh, it's, it's, I might either die from Dalfort's poison tip ar archer, or total. Um. I don't know how much I like this league thing because it's just uh, makes your decisions a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even thinking about it. I'll just play it off. Yeah, like. You're in second place, mate. So I'm like, I'd rather take you out because uh, the gap between me and me and Dalfort's closer than than me and you. We're only on week two, though. I know. Yeah. Weeks and week. Yeah. I know. We give get in the mindset straight away, right? Well, <laughs> totally surely right. you'd rather take Kovax out because he's the head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but all right. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll go at Crovax. With, all right. With uh, five, six, <laughs> seven, and a two-two. So seven one ones and a two-two, and I'll gain a treasure. All right. I will block your two-two uh, goblin shaman. Yep. With Mahadi. Cool. He's a three-three. And I will block. Um, I'll block a goblin token with murderous red cap. Bro. He's a 2-2. Two, two. And I'll take the rest. Yeah. So that's two damage, uh, two triggers from the poison tip archer for, for the board. Yeah. For all of us, yeah. 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 And then liability and then triggers. Two for liability. Two for liability. Okay. All I, can, all I can hear is, is Nan saying <laughs> liberty. <laughs> <laughs> liberty. Liberty. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. Ed, your turn, then everyone draws a card. Oh, wow. Draw. That might balance it. <laughs> there we go. Um. One, two, three, four. Nation. No! <laughs> Man. Destroy all creatures. <laughs> no! Oh, for that. How many I creatures that. is, uh, how many creatures are dying for the poison tip archer trigger? <gasps> oh, yeah. Many. Two, three. I've got, I got three. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I think I'm dead. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I'm doing fifteen. Fifteen, eighteen. Have I killed myself? No. <laughs> I might have killed myself. I've got one. Um. Yes, I lose three creatures. I might have killed yeah, myself you have killed as well. As well. Is it not twenty-one? The, the six between me and Crowback. How many do you say, Chris? Fifteen. Twenty-two. 15, so that's twenty-one. Twenty-two. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Do you, well, do you want to roll it back? Um. So, I would roll it total... back. It's just the end of the game, though, isn't it? It's just. So, uh, how much no. damage total is that from the uh, from the poison to Archer? So, 
Twenty. We're rolling it back because I didn't realise it killed myself. Yeah, I, I think it might as well roll it back. Okay. Oh, so we are rolling yeah, that roll back. Yeah, roll it back. Yeah. There's, I, okay. Oh. Apart from the fact that it's funny. Well, it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I think we just, I just died to just died to Chris anyway. To be fair. Quite clearly, the liability is the, the other pilot in the deck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I just died to Chris anyway. But I can't. I don't. It depends what else happens, right? We all die anyway because of the poison archer. No matter what happens. No, I don't. Can't win now. Yeah, Delphi. But none of us. None of us can actually win unless we can actually get rid of one of those creatures. Yeah. It's just. No, there's no. I I think the damnations are the the perfect playmate. <laughs> Damnation in sort it. <laughs> all right, doing it. All right, so out. 22 damage. Burn out my way. It's uh, yeah. And so, um, do, it's do 25. On... Sorry, mate. No, it's uh 25 damage total for me, because I I managed to survive this. Because yeah. I do yeah. take the damage from the liability. I have to take. Do I take the liability damage then? Yes. Right. Cool. Okay. Uh, where have I put my hand? Was, that, was it three? Uh, it's one for uh, each uh, creature, each card that goes into your graveyard from play. Oh, and if yes, you add three. three. Yeah. 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 Before this resolves, though, yeah. I am going to let each player draw a card as well. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah. Oh, Goblin Chain yeah. Will, yeah. Cheers. <clears throat> now, um, when my murderous red cap goes into the graveyard, it didn't have a neg one, neg one counter. So it's going to come back into play with a minus one, minus one counter. Okay, cool. Do I do I choose which order? No, because it's just each opponent, isn't it? On my poison tip. Yeah. So I can't choose which person dies first or anything. No. It's just... I die first because I don't, I don't have I... enough hit points. Cool. Yeah. So I die first. Um, Matt does your, the same amount of points your eye me. blight colors... Your eye blight colors, they uh, yeah. have a death trigger. Yeah. Oh. Two, two blimmin' zombies killed me in the end. <laughs> Take. Right, I get three, uh, three tokens, and I have to mill three cards, don't I? Oh, see, I could have oh, yeah. shot a creature for two. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> and now, when the, murderous, when the murderous red cap comes into play, can I deal one damage to one of his elf warrior tokens, or are they not in play? When we do the uh, persist trigger, uh, um, sorry, I, what was the timing? I missed the timing. Uh, I think, I think Crovax would go before me, wouldn't he? Because around the table. Okay, so when he comes into play, I think the only legal target is deal one damage to Delfort with yeah. the uh, murderous red cap. That sounds okay. reasonable. I'm not resetting the board. I actually forgot my Perexian Arena draw there as well, yeah? Oh, so you're on 21. <laughs> and what it was... Yeah. Oscar's Contempt, so I could have got rid of that bloody elf. <laughs> <in the game. laughs> and then Damnation next turn. <laughs> then still be alive. But you'd, have been, you'd have been definitely dead next turn. Because I had... Um... Alright. Oh, I'll find the card. I do believe it goes right on to my turn. After all that. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. I went out like a mono black player does. Okay. Not doing maths. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a command tower as my land for turn. And I'm going to spend three mana and cast a Reclamation Sage. And I'm going to blow up the uh, Pride of the Perfect. Is that the yeah. name of that enchantment? Yeah. I will blow up that Pride of the Perfect. Cool. And then one, two, three, four mana. I'm gonna cast a Demigoth Woe Eater Demon. And I will pass the turn from there. 
contact. Cool. Play Forest. Maps is hard. Okay, uh, I'm going to tap six, which includes two right. black, green. Casualties of war. Destroy target. Right. Choose one or more target artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. So, All right. uh, get rid of your commands. Is it command sphere? I have a commander sphere in play, yes. Yeah, I can go. Uh, what else? Um... I nearly point you to my screen to show you which creature to move. That's not clever, is it? If that's the one, please. I think that's the most okay. dangerous one. The Woe Eater. Yeah. And, and uh, the... you get to target a land. Yeah, the castle. Probably the most, the best land. Uh, yeah, that's it, I think. All right. In response, I'm going to sacrifice the command, uh, commander sphere to draw a card. Okay. And then resolve the rest. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think I'm going to swing for three. And just be aggressive. Be aggressive. All right. Um. I will block. I think I just block one with Reclamation Sage and take the two. Cool. cool. That's the thing. All right. I will untap. Let's keep draw. I'm going to play a Swamp for my land for turn. Then I like to pay one, two, and three. And I'm going to cast a Eternal Witness, and oh, nice. I'll return the I'll return the Woe Eater to my hand. Oh. Yeah, nice. And then one, two, three, four mana, and I'll replay the Woe Eater, and then I will swing in for one damage. With the red cap. Take one. And then I will pass this turn. Cool. One tap. What's the toughness on the woe wo eater, please? Sorry. On this one? Yes, please. Oh, uh, this is a Better. two one. Two one and the woe wo eater. Is a seven six. A seven six. Oh, okay. That's yeah. interesting, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, I shall play a foul orchard. Comes in tap. That puts five. <clears throat> Play a twin blade assassin. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, draw a card. Um, I'll pass the turn. All right. Aggressive lasted Untap. longer. <laughs> Untap upkeep. During my upkeep, I will sacrifice Eternal Witness to uh, Woe Eater's uh, upkeep trigger. And draw a card. I'm going to play a Swamp as my land for turn. And then one, two, three, 
for five mana. I like to cast my commander. And then I like to pay two mana for an arcane signet and then two more mana for a Sadolvi Adnate. And then I will pass the turn. I'm just looking up what a Sadolvi Ad Adnate does, sorry. Yeah, it's a tap, sacrifice, a black or artifact creature to add an amount of black mana equal to that creature's casting cost to your mana pool. Play this ability as an interrupt. Oh, that's there's some, nice. There's some yeah. old text for you. Yeah, that's nice, that is. I should know what the set symbol is as well, being that banner, but I can't remember. I believe that's alliances. Alliances, that sounds good to me. So you say it's my turn, sorry. Yes. Okay. Roll for the turn. Okay. Uh, I play another forest. Well, it's now eight, doesn't it? It's a nice one. I like eight. So, to get to five, tap green. <laughs> Sorry, mate, what's up? I said you only need to get to five. That's the magic number for you. Yeah, right. yeah, true. Um, I'm going to play Numa, Jorga Chieftain, or Jiraga Chieftain. Uh, at the beginning of your combat, on your turn, you may pay XX. When you do, distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of target elves. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to tap six, uh, four mana to put two plus one plus one counters on the twin blade assassins when I found the two. That makes it a seven six now. Kind of match your seven six. Hmm. Saying that, I now don't know whether or not the card draws better for me. But there, that's the two tokens rather than one plus one card. Okay, I'm just going to swing with an, an elf rather than. You're swinging with uh, a single what? elf? Yep. All right, I will block with the uh, uh, Woe Eater. Cool. Oh, come on. I am... At the beginning of my end step, if I the creature died this turn, I gain a card. Cool. Uh, pass the turn. All right. I will untap. During my upkeep, I will sacrifice the uh, Sadolvi. To the Woe Eater. I'll get a trigger on Ball, and I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on the Murderous Red Cap, which will remove the minus one, minus one counter nice. from the Red Cap. Nice. Draw my card for turn. Oh, and it's goaded. And? Is that right? 
And yes, well, he, he is goaded, but he has some knee sickness. Ah, yeah. And then I'm going to oh. a one, two, Red Cap won't have some sickness three mana. Your turn now. And cast a Grim Horus Vex. Yeah, Grovax, your red, four cap, mana. your red cap hasn't got summon sickness now. It That will happen during my upkeep. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. You're right. He's a 2-2 he's a two -two and is goaded. Yeah. So he will, uh, he'll be, he'll have to attack here in just a moment. And I'm going to spend three more mana, sacrificing my treasure token, and I'm going to cast... Bulgad Recovery. And I'm going to return Eternal Witness <laughs> to my hand with that. Loopity loopity loop. Um, I'll now go to combat and swing my goaded murderous red cap. Doesn't get death touch, does it? Uh no, he's just a two two. Is there other death additional death triggers? Um, it'll have a persistent. Um, well, uh, he uh, when he dies, he'll come back into play because he does not have a neg one neg one counter yeah, on. And shoot yeah, and shoots him one. I'll just take two. All right. Go. All right. I'll go to my in step. Uh, Death Reap Ritual will trigger, because at the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, I may draw a card, and I did sacrifice the yeah, the, yeah, cool. the Adnate, so I'll draw a card at my end step, and that will that will do me for the turn. Cool. So, one tap. Draw. So, uh, one, uh, one black. One green, one of the no two of us cast my commander. Two and a one, I'll cast the Wood Elves. Enter the battlefield, switch your library for a forest card, put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Going to last turn. Now, did you play your commander? Yes. All right, and you're just passing the turn on the instep, or you're going right to the instep now? Yes. Right. Because it has menace. So it doesn't I'm... have. Uh... Um. Have haste. When you, okay, never mind. Yeah. So I will untap during my upkeep. I'm going to sacrifice Murderous Red Cap to the Woe Eater. And I have a Ball Trigger and the Murderous Red Cap trigger to resolve. Murderous Red Cap comes back into play with the Neg 1, neg one counter. Yep. I now have his uh, 
ETB on the stack, but I like to resolve balls. Uh, plus one, plus pick. one counter, and and goad ability. You have to pick your target if, first. And too. that will remove. What's that? You'll have to pick your target on the red cap first. Uh, for the ETB one? Yeah. Okay. So he'll deal one damage on his ETB uh, when he comes into play with the neg one, neg one counter. Yeah. And I like to deal one damage to, um, I think to your wood elf, your one, one elf. Now I'll deal to your token elf uh, in, instead of the wood elf. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Ball Lord of Murder will put a plus one, plus one counter on him, removing the uh, neg one, neg one counter. Another nice. uh, non-token creature I control died, so Grim Horror Specs will have me draw a card. Okay. And then I will draw my card for turn. And... I'm going to spend two mana. And I'm going to play a Goblin Bombardment. And now this is an infra an infinite loop where I sacrifice Murderous Red Cap to Golem Bombardment to deal one damage to uh, any target. And then okay. with the Persist trigger and the Ball trigger, uh, Murderous Red Cap will come back two. into play with a minus one, minus one counter, and he'll deal one additional okay. damage. And then Ball will take the counter off him by putting the plus one plus one counter on him. And then I can sacrifice yeah. Murderous Red Cap again. So this is infinite Murderous Red Cap sacrifices. Cool. To the gun bombardment, and that will I'll pew, 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 I'll pew, just pew. do all the damage to your face, all for it. Yeah, cool. Nice. Well, Dang, I've got, I got enchantment removal at the end. So, good game. Is it instant speed removal? Well, I can no, do this. No. I can I can do this loop at instant speed, so it would yeah. need to have split second. Um, yeah, if, if I'd have cast this earlier, this one says tap four, untap creatures you control, destroy target life back. To oh, yeah. So, but it's not good in my hand. <laughs> and I also have my back to stage as well. But very good. Thank you very much. Well, that was that was a very unexpected combo there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, you, if you missed... The first game, go back and give that a watch.